As a married man with seven children, I understand how disappointed kids are with the Hulk's current state in the MCU. We need a change, but I believe that change is on the horizon, my friends, because World War Hulk is being teased, everybody. Please like and subscribe for more Hulk-related stuff. She-Hulk Episode 2 featured Hulk travelling back to Sakaar on the ship that caused the crash in Episode 1. Fans of the comics know that Hulk heading back to Sakaar is indeed hinting at the end of Smart Hulk and the return of the brilliant, all-powerful, savage Hulk we all know and love. A few months ago, there was a rumour going around about a World War Hulk movie being in production secretly at Marvel and that She-Hulk was going to send Hulk back to Sakaar and be the setup for World War Hulk. And now after episode 2 of She-Hulk, part of that rumour has come true. The first domino has fallen. Now the question is, why has Hulk gone back to Sakaar? Well, a She-Hulk writer has said that it is indeed to do with something that happened in the two years Hulk was on Sakaar before Thor Ragnarok. My theory is, he's got a wife, he's got a woman up there, like in the Planet Hulk comic book run, and maybe for the double points, she might have a child, Scar. Or maybe it's the classic Planet Hulk story, the Grandmaster, or maybe there's a new Emperor of Sakaar and they need him to help overthrow him, making Hulk the ruler of Sakaar, and that would be your foundation for a proper World War Hulk move. But knowing Marvel, they won't go exactly how the comic book storyline was, like Civil War or even Infinity War and Endgame. That was a retelling of the Infinity Gauntlet storyline from the comics, but it was very different than the comic book series. If the rumours are true, and if Disney are up to something, then the end credit scene for the finale of She-Hulk is going to be very interesting indeed. For those that don't know, World War Hulk is one of the most epic Hulk storylines ever written. Essentially, the Earth heroes decide Hulk is too dangerous to be left on Earth any longer, so the Illuminati trick Hulk into going on a spaceship and they send him off-world to another planet, but something goes wrong and he lands on the wrong planet, Sakaar, where he becomes a gladiator and works his way up to eventually overthrow the evil emperor and becomes the new leader of the entire planet. He gets a wife, and she is pregnant, and Hulk is happy. Then, the spaceship he travelled to Sakaar on explodes, massive explosion, and kills his wife and unborn child. Sad times indeed. He blames the Earth heroes, travels back to Earth angrier than ever, and absolutely batters all the Earth heroes at the same time. There's more radiation on Sakaar, gamma radiation, and Hulk absorbs it during his time there and becomes even more powerful than what he was before. And that is all I want from the Hulk in the MCU. That's all we all want. Everyone wants it. And Disney are so aware that Smart Hulk just isn't it. And the amount of comments out there demanding the real Hulk back, they know exactly what they're teasing us with at the end of She-Hulk's second episode. So, do you want a World War Hulk movie? Comment down below and don't forget to give the video a like and subscribe for more Hulk and Marvel related stuff. It helps the channel out massively. Thank you.